Hey guys, I want to give you a quick update on what's been going on in life and what's been happening with R2-D2. So I moved to Florida over the last two years and decided to revamp a bunch of things like his connector and the gear has broken and I went through them and there's been a ton of stuff I don't like. I don't like the way I laid out the electronics. I thought that was extremely messy and I've seen some amazing work online and on YouTube and I really think I could do a better job. So I got the old 3D printers up and running. Uh, that one I had to take apart to fix. Uh, I think I designed those mounts for the board. I didn't like those. Those came out. I found that the center leg mounting piece that was originally designed in the version 2 or the Mark II kind of warped over time so I'm glad I kind of went through them and took them apart. I designed those speaker mounts and I really don't like them. I think it takes up a lot of space having the speakers there and I hope to remount them down underneath by the skirt. Uh, there's our two all apart. Here's the electronics layout as it was and that's uh, me going through things. So I redesigned the mount for the dome motor and I kind of like it off to the side and also design the slip ring mount as well to go on that uh, because I really don't like where it was originally mounted and this is the great thing about 3d printing and having a little bit of design background where you can change it if you don't like it you know and it is an experiment I don't know how it's gonna work being that it's the leg bolts that hold it on but uh, we'll see we'll see how if they become loose I'll have to tighten them up but there's a comparison of the old and the new that I'm working on. I also want to make a few of the doors open that weren't originally designed to be open. And this is my kind of design for the coin slot door where the buzz saw is actually at. And I have been working on the buzz saw and that uh, sliding way of it coming out. And uh, just like I said, getting a lot of ideas online on Astromech and from guys like John Salt and. Uh, a couple other builders online so I have printed the coin slot out and I like the fact that you know I can use that to come off of with the door and I can bolt it in to try it out so that's two pieces of din rail there that I have adapted to hold out the center leg to um, this setup here is an idea I got from Douglas Bickert I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly he has a system in the dome for all of the uh, little things that pop up in and out uh, you know the periscope and I'm not sure what I'm gonna have I'm definitely gonna have a periscope but uh, I got the idea from him and hopefully I can 3d print it and it'll be sturdy enough but thanks for all of the comments guys I really do appreciate it and that and speaking with John really was the inspiration to get me back in front of the microphone and give you guys an update hopefully I'll have many more